How to tap maple trees without bugs or debris in the sap? Impossible, you say? No. When the pretty pinks and oranges and greens and yellows start poking up through the snow, you know that it's almost time to start tapping that maple tree again. Well, here's how you can do it. First of all, it's very important to build an exact snow sculpture of the dimensions 3.14159 by uh, 2.1769 right in front of your tree. You can see in years past where we've tapped the tree. They say it's important to keep the holes at least six inches apart and at least two feet above and below old holes. It's a good idea to use the smallest bit you can. We use a 5 16 bit and drill it on a slightly upwards angle one and a half inches deep into the tree or directly towards the center. This year we have attached a special electronic device to increase sap production. Actually, it's basically just to make the tree look even prettier than it already is and to help it feel better. Here's our new invention. Get a one gallon milk jug or water bottle. Use the blue tubing used specifically for maple syrup tapping. Cut a hole in that milk jug cap just big enough to allow the tube to fit tightly. Cut a tiny little hole in the milk jug handle and then build a little device to hold it so it won't blow over and so this way it does not have to hang off the tree. I don't think the tree likes having a milk jug hang off of it. Now we want it to be... Tap the spot in just tight enough you think? so that it won't pull out or twist out easily by hand. Wiggle it a little. If it's loose, tap it in a little more. Then attach your tube to the milk jug. If you don't drill a hole in the milk jug, the sap will not flow into it. When the temperature is above 40 during the day and around 20 at night, sometimes you'll have to fill up two or three of these jugs each day. It's important. it's important to change the jugs regularly and keep them in the refrigerator because they'll go bad sitting outside. And most importantly, don't forget that maple syrup time is the most joyous time of the year, and we should celebrate it every day. Some people say don't boil the maple sap inside the house. I love the smell of it. It makes plenty of nice steam for everyone to breathe in the house. And yes, it's true, there does occur a little bit of dripping and things do get a little wet, but it's not that bad. If you put two gallons of maple sap and boil it down, it makes just about one small mason jar of syrup. The most important thing is stand right there during the later phases. You have to know when it's done like that.